Alright, so there's really no way to start this video without sounding like a complete and total creep, but hey friends, my name is Gabrielle, and welcome to the What to Read if you like watching Ariel Bissett. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, Ariel is a popular booktuber who was actually the first booktuber that I ever started watching. I really enjoy her channel, so Ariel, if you do ever by some chance see this, then I am sorry if this comes off as creepy and weird. What I found is that when recommending books to people, it's easier to recommend to people who already have a certain fandom or a certain preference in mind. So then since this is kind of my first jump back into this series, I did one called What to Read If You Like True Crime. Um, this is kind of my first jump back into it and hopefully it will be uploaded on a more consistent basis. But I kind of wanted to go back to my roots of when I first started booktube and who I really started watching that kind of inspired me to make booktube videos of my own. For those of you guys who don't know, I'll give you a quick bio on Ariel Bissett. She tends to upload a lot of videos that kind of talk about books in general and not so much any of the kind of book hauls or... And she what I really enjoy about her channel, she talks a lot outside of the YA realm. Because I enjoy reading YA, I think a lot of people do enjoy reading YA, but it's not my genre of choice, so to speak. So I've decided to kind of pick out some books that I think that if you watch Ariel's channel like I do, then you might like reading as well. And Ariel, if you haven't read this, and if you do ever see this, if you do ever see this video, like I said, and you haven't read any of these books, feel free to give them a try and let me know what you think of because some of them are my favorites. So the first book that I am recommending is Seahorse by Denise Perriott. Now this is a story about Nim when he is in college. He is suffering from the loss of a childhood friend when he falls in love with one of the assistant professors, Nicholas. Now their affair kind of ends really abruptly when Nem meets Nicholas's girlfriend. Well, years later after the affair ends and Nem is living in London, he is put in touch with Nicholas and Nicholas's girlfriend again. It's in the middle of the London contemporary art scene. It really explores a lot of facets of love and friendship. It's an amazing look on just relationships with men, women, polyamory, and kind of explores love as a whole. This is probably one of my favorite books of the year, so if you guys haven't read Seahorse by Janice Perry yet, I would definitely recommend it. The second book that I'm recommending is because I know that um, a lot of people kind of neglect the short stories or mini novels, so this is one that I'm definitely recommending because it's actually written by an old professor of mine, and it's really good. Um, it's got a collection of different short stories. That is The Butcher's Tale and Other Stories by Derek Updegraff. It makes you think more intentionally about love and loss and family and faith, and it it's just told in a really interesting way and there's a bunch of really great stories in here so if you guys are looking for a new kind of collection of stories then I would definitely check out The Butcher's Tale by Derek DeGraff. So the next one I'm recommending is because I know one of Ariel's favorite books is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. This one is very much kind of written in the Neil Gaiman-esque style and I have been falling in love with it. I haven't finished it yet but it's so cool and it takes in a lot of the kind of fairy tale folklore themes of Russian culture. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. It's got the aspects of a Cinderella story but it's so much more darker and it honestly is written so beautifully that it really the setting itself is gorgeous and I am loving it so far it deals a lot with Russian fairies and Legend of Frost it's really exciting I don't want to give too much away and I haven't read it so I can't do a full review of it yet but honestly I'm loving it and it's just it's fantastic I would highly recommend it and the last one that I'm recommending is one that was an absolute favorite of mine during my book a day challenge and that is The Kitchen God's Wife by Amy Tan. Not only is this cover absolutely beautiful, but it's got a very different prose. So the whole story is about Winnie tells her is telling her daughter Pearl about her past. The way it's told is very much in a storytelling like. So it talks a lot in the first person. Um, relating events that happened in the past like literally as if someone is sitting down in front of you and telling you a story it's heartbreaking it's funny really kind of shows you that mother-daughter relationship in a different light it really addresses the issues that can come cross-culturally overall it's a definitely a favorite of mine and if you guys are looking for something interesting with a very different style of writing then highly recommend amy tan's the kitchen god's wife so those are the books that I'm recommending for you if you guys like watching Ariel Bissett's YouTube channel, if you like the books that she recommends, and if you like reading books that are kind of off the beaten path. So um, let me know what you guys thought of this video. This will be a bi-weekly series where I will be recommending what you should read based on your interests or um, just different things like Hogwarts houses or popular culture, music, bands, 
whatever you guys can think of let me know in the comments below and i'll go ahead and start researching to make a video about it so thank you so much for watching if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do because i upload bookish videos twice a week and i upload reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that i want to react to and if you haven't checked out my latest video make sure you stick around because it'll be popping up right after this but that's all i have for you guys today so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later okay